All right. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, aka Soraya. And before I get started, you guys know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. All right, guys. So we're going to do something that is going to uh, attempt to help everybody out in the craft community to stay uplifted and stay crafty, right? So I'm gonna get this started off and I want you guys to continue this on. And what we doing is, what are you doing to stay encouraged and stay productive, positive, while we on this stay at home quarantine type of situation? What I'm sharing with you guys today is me uh, changing up my craft room or organizing my yarn. So I'm getting ready to flip the camera around so you guys can see how I have reorganized a lot of my yarn. I don't have a whole, whole lot of yarn. I have enough yarn. So let me share with you guys what I did thus far to keep myself encouraged, positive, and productive. So let me flip... Let me flip it around, guys. Hold on one second. All right, guys. So here we go. I have organized my yarn. I have a total of six crates with yarn in there. All right. So here's crate number one. It's not all that fancy or anything like that, but I want it to be easier for me to grab yarn. So let's get started. This is my first crate right here, which is all solid color yarn. I probably need to take this white out. I think it would look better, but I have all my red heart or my big twist in here, but it's my solid print yarn. So that's tote number one. If I need any of those colors, I can grab them, you know, pretty quickly. So here's tote number two. Now, these are my more taller yarns, and then the shorter yarns are right here. So that is tote number two. Um, can't tell you which yarn it is, but... They are solid print. So I got my solid colors together. So when I need a color, I can see what color I have. And if I don't have it, I know exactly what to run out and get. Tote number three are my variegated yarn. So those are uh, three large ones and then my smaller variegated yarn. In case you guys don't know, I love me some variegated yarn. And the reason is, I like to pull a color from my variegated yarn and then whatever project I'm working on, I can blend it in really well. So that's tote number three. Tote number four is my just throw it in the bin type of yarn. So I didn't have anywhere to really put these yarns right there. So I just threw it in the bin. All right, but that's okay. I can still see very well what I need. These are larger yarns and chunky yarns in there. And then tote number five, as you can see, are my homespun yarn along with my chunky yarn. So this is all I can get in that bin with the homespun and chunky, or I would have put those chunky over here as well. So as I use the chunky yarn out of here, I'm just going to transfer those over to here. But I liked it, this color combo, guys. Let me know what you think. Next, guys, is my Lion Brand. That I do know. Someone, Summer Tips and Stitches, did a video where she was showing all her Lion Brand yarn. And she that was a fun video to watch because she didn't realize how much Lion Brand she really had and how many different uh, variations that Lion Brands carries, right? So there's that fun bin right there. Somehow, every time I want to come to this bin, I love how this crate look. It's very colorful. I just don't want to empty it out. So I'm very skeptical when I'm getting ready to grab anything. But anyway, guys, look how that looks. So there's another one. So everything that has to go into a tote has been added into a tote. And now I can just easily see what I have with my solids, with my variegated, and I can just grab things a whole lot easier. Now, y'all know, if you don't know, because I got a lot of new subscribers on this channel, 
and I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for clicking on that button. I made t-shirt yarn. So the first t-shirt bag, no, I didn't make t-shirt yarn. I, um, I made t-shirt bag. So this first bag right here was given to me by Proverbs 31. Uh, Jenny, she sent me over some t-shirt yarn. And I made this bag out of it. So this is my scrap bag. So anything that I have that has been used, I throw it in here. So when I'm making my scrap project, I can go to my scrap bag, right? So there's that bag. The second bag, which is right here, is this yarn came from this t-shirt yarn. I forgot the company, y'all. I did a... Uh, product review and they really loved how I did the product review so they sent me over plenty of this t-shirt yarn and I admit I love this yarn better this basket has my Burnett Pop Mandela and one yarn bee that Lisa Darling blessed me with so I have that feel really good about that and this last bag this is the different texture of yarn in here. So in here, let me just show you for example. This type of yarn would make beautiful scarves, but I use these yarns for borders. This is some yarn that Lisa blessed me with as well. And you see that little pretty hat? Um, I wouldn't make a hat, but if I made something in pink, I would put this down for a border. So that is this yarn, this basket is all dealing with borders. You know, yarn like this, I'm just going to put that as a border or edge or whatever how you guys call it. I'm super excited, y'all, because I'm being, you know, I'm staying active and I'm staying positive. And this is a great time for me to do it. Now, we do have the stay at home as well, although I still have to go out to work. So I'm just taking this downtime to, you know, to finish this. I am going to be doing letters on here. I believe I'm trying to figure out the color. Maybe black would be a, you know, a cool color to add to this pillow. It looks so bland. It's my YouTube pillow. No, you know, no uh tutorial or DIY. I just came up with it by myself. So but it's it's boring. So I got to I got to bring it to life, right? Hold on. Yeah, guys. So I have to bring this pillow to life. I'm just trying to figure out what color do I want to add? I might add um I might add my thing getting ready to go out black just to bring it out with the DOY. So stay tuned for that. I'm working on some hats and pillows and uh blankets so i'm staying productive so guys please leave in the comments what you doing why you at the stay at home give us some ideas how to keep ourselves positive productive and encouraged all right guys keep it up and keep it going i will see you guys in the next video please make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave a comment if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Your bell setting to all. Always remember, ya, yeah, some 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys in your video. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.